Hey, real estate investors, James Wise with Holton Wise. Today, I have a cash flowing duplex that can bring in as much as $1,450 a month. Let's dive in. Four four three three Ardmore, Cleveland, four four one zero nine. That's the old Brooklyn area. I love that area. Holton Wise has tons of properties. This is just a solid C class area with duplex after duplex after duplex. Just great cash flow. The price seventy nine thousand nine hundred. Now, if this looks familiar to you, that's because it is. As you'll see up above me, there's a video of me selling this property. You see, I just sold this property a couple months ago. Let's take a look at what I said back when we sold this the first time. Four four three three Ardmore, Cleveland, four four one zero nine. That is the old Brooklyn neighborhood. If you've been watching our content, you should know that Holton Wise has a higher density in the old Brooklyn neighborhood than any other neighborhood in the greater Cleveland area. This is a very solid C-class working neighborhood and our rentals provide so much cash flow in this area. We are literally killing it in this area. This unit is gonna require a little bit of work. The seller dabbles in real estate investments on the side, so he has done a decent amount of stuff for us, but we are gonna need to take it to the next level to get top rents. Now this is the living room, it's nice. He's already repainted it, so we don't have to mess with that. These hardwood floors, I wanna put a nice poly coat on them. As you can see down here, we still got the tack strips. It looks like he must have had carpet in here for the last tenant. What we wanna do now though, is we wanna keep these hardwoods. We're not gonna put carpet here again. We're gonna do a nice poly coat. So if tenants ever bring in dogs or cats, or let's face it, sometimes kids or the adult tenants themselves. Sometimes, you know, pee, juice, beer, pop, whatever gets spilled. We don't want you replacing carpet every single time. So we're gonna bite the bullet up front and totally refinish these, totally put that poly so these floors are gonna last you. Every single turnover, you're gonna save an additional thousand dollars. Not gonna touch those floors. We're not gonna be spending a thousand dollars replacing carpet between tenants. We're gonna do it once and it's gonna be done. Other than that, the paint, it looks great, okay? Now these hardwoods, these are very classic old hardwoods. What I personally prefer to do is to whitewash these hardwoods, but we could leave them as is and still achieve the price point that I wanna hit. Here's one of the bedrooms right here. We got some pretty cool French doors. I want you to remember what these French doors look like because that's gonna come into play when we go downstairs and how we're gonna turn that unit, which is currently a two bedroom, we're gonna turn that into a three bedroom, just like this bedroom right here. All right, so you got your one nice bedroom. You got your living room right here. We come over here, you know, this is just additional space, guys. This is just a gigantic dining room. I mean, this is a huge unit. We got the second bedroom right in here. Swing it over here. Very simple. We got the bathroom, which he has already done some work to. So this bathroom, more or less, we don't have to do too much. He's already painted it. The paint looks great. You know, the sink fixture, that's cool. The toilet works. You can leave the toilet if you want, but I don't want you to. I don't recommend it. I mean, it's up to you, but for an additional couple hundred bucks, we can install a brand new toilet, which is gonna use considerably less water than this current toilet does. Not to mention the guts inside this toilet are old. The wax ring is probably old. So by leaving this toilet, what it's gonna essentially guarantee you is a higher water bill, number one, and number two, more likely for us to have to come out and do a service call. So why we're doing some work to get this unit spruced up, why we're refinishing those floors over there and these floors that we're standing on that go from the bathroom here to the kitchen. I wanna replace these floors and put some vinyl allure flooring. Let's just pop that toilet, you know, save you some money down the road. Just like we're saving you money down the road by not putting carpet in this unit. Now we end up in the kitchen. Last room I wanna show you in this upstairs unit. More or less, the kitchen's pretty nice. 
but I want to cosmetically make it nicer. Like I said, we're going to do those new vinyl allure floors and then, you know, this old looking woodwork right here. We don't have to replace this, but I do want to paint this white. I want to give it the same look that you got in that bathroom. And these countertops, these are fine. You know, for an additional thousand bucks, we could upgrade them to an even nicer countertop and we could swap out these knobs for something silver. And by doing all of that, guys, we're gonna easily achieve $700 a month in rent for this unit. It's got a nice little porch on the outside. I want you to take a look at that and then I'm gonna meet you downstairs. kitchen for the downstairs unit. What is cool about this kitchen, we don't have to do anything. We don't have to touch anything. Look at these cabinets. I mean, this guy, he's already put in. You know, these are some nice, solid cabinets, modern color. We got modern looking hardware. The floor, it's already modern. Countertops, these are fine. These are great. No issues with this. Now, this unit, outside of not having to touch the kitchen like we did upstairs, this thing's gonna have an extra special surprise. You remember those French doors that I liked upstairs? I wanna show you something. We walk through the living room right here, we get into this little side room, looks pretty similar to what we saw upstairs. All we gotta do is put some French doors in, just like we had upstairs, and this is gonna become our third bedroom. This bedroom, we want to go ahead and just pull this carpet out, refinish this as well. We don't have to repaint. He's already done the painting. And again, as far as the hardwoods go, I, I like to refinish them white. I usually do. Uh, and upstairs, we probably might want to do that. But down here, I really don't think it makes any sense because these hardwoods, you know, they got like a nice amber looking color to them and they match the cabinetry. And honestly, I mean, you know, I've been a lot of these old Brooklyn duplexes and I think this cabinetry in this particular kitchen, this is probably one of the nicer kitchens I've ever seen. I mean, there's just a ton of space in here that you normally don't see. Just, you know, nice built-ins. You can tell the tenants that this guy's had in this property have taken care of it. So really nothing you have to do in the kitchen. One thing you could do that I like people to do, you know, I love for investors to harden their units, guys. Just like with the carpet, you know, we harden that. We make your costs lower. What I like to do, here is a gas line, okay? This is for a gas stove. Now, in a unit like this, totally normal for tenants to bring their own appliances. So you don't have to supply a gas stove. But what I like to do, what I do in all the properties that I own, when I have a gas line, I replace that, okay? I do not give them the option to hook up a gas stove. I go electric. Why? Because it's a lot easier to burn your house down with a gas stove than it is with an electric stove. Think about it. Your tenants, they're having some friends over, maybe they're having a party, somebody's sitting on the stove like this, you know, they hit that nozzle, the gas is going, gas is pumping into your house. Is that something that happens frequently? No, absolutely not. Even if it's a small risk, we do have the ability to remove that risk from this equation. This is real estate investing, guys. There is an unlimited amount of variables at play at all times. So whenever we have the opportunity to remove one of those variables, that in the long run is gonna lead you to a higher ROI in your investment career. So. Not necessary, but I do recommend you do that. What is gonna be necessary though, is gonna be pulling up this carpet and refinishing it just like we're doing the living room, just like we're doing upstairs. And then finally over here, the bathroom. The bathroom looks great. He's already done everything with the bathroom. You know, the shower surround is good. The fixture for the sink is good. Same thing, I recommend another optional item. I would upgrade that toilet to reduce potential service calls and also reduce your water bill. And let's pop out of this bathroom right into the last room I wanna show you in this unit, the third bedroom. What the owner did, I like this, he exposed this brick. This look is in right now. This is what tenants wanna see, guys. That's why we do the upgraded flooring. That's why we do the modern fixtures. That's why we refinish everything. We use gray paint like you have in here. We wanna hit the tenants with what's modern, what's new, and exposed brick is in right now. That's why we're gonna get $750 in rent. I want you guys to go downstairs, take a look at all the mechanicals. As you'll see, they're a little bit older, but they are all working. Those are gonna be capital expenditures. Those are gonna be things that you're gonna to need to factor in. 
Do you have to replace any of those right now here today? No, you do not. But in the next five or six years, you're probably gonna have to replace those because your furnaces, they're gonna last you 30 to 40 years. Hot water tank's gonna last you about 15. Your roof is gonna last you about 30 years. This property has a slate roof. So those things, if you're doing regular maintenance, they're gonna last you a very, very long time. He just got that slate roof serviced. So as far as I am told, I am aware, that slate roof is in great condition and you're gonna have 10, 15 plus years out of that roof. We're gonna write all offers contingent on inspection. So we're gonna go ahead and refer to your inspector to give you more detail on that. During the escrow process of this investor's purchase, he went through all the normal due diligence things that you can expect. We have a full third-party inspection report available for you upon request. On top of that, after he closed, Holton Wise went in and gave him a line-by-line -line bid to get this property completely rent ready. So what he is doing now is completely pivoting, selling this property and using a 1031 exchange to fund his new opportunity. What that means for you is this property is now available for you to purchase for $79,000 900. Now, here's the cool thing. When we were doing the renovation bids, he wanted to get options on a couple different ways we can take this investment. So what we have for you, we have five separate bids. What these five bids are is we have two bids for each of the units as well as a common area bid. Now, the maximum we could rent this property for, the most we can get is $1,450. That's gonna give you $750 in rent for the three bedroom unit and $700 in rent for the two bedroom unit. This is the high end bid. This will get you the nicest units that will rent for the most price possible. This is our higher end number. If you'd like to spend this amount, that is the amount of rent we can deliver to you. Or if you would like, you can choose to spend a little bit less money. The following two bids that you see now, these are the low end bid. These are going to make the units very nice and rent ready to meet all of Holton Wise's minimum standards, but we haven't included any of the extreme upgrades that are gonna maximize the rentability of these units. If you choose to go with the lower end bid that you see here, we can expect to bring in about $1,350 in rent a month. We should be able to rent that three bedroom unit for about 700, and we should be able to rent the two bedroom unit for about 650. The choice is yours. The bids are already drawn up. These are the bids that you're going to need to sign after closing, and then Holton Wise, we can go in and knock these renovations out. So it's your call. Spend a little bit more money to get a little bit higher rent, or go in with a little bit less money, but still get a decent amount of rent. In addition to those four bids, what we have for you here is a common area bid. What this bid is going to include, these are a lot of your capital expenditure items or deferred maintenance items that popped up in that inspection report. You don't have to do the items that are on this list right now to get tenants to rent this property. But these are things as an owner of an investment property, you're going to need to budget for sometime in the future you want to maintain your property, keep the standards high. These are items that you're going to want to eventually take care of. Perhaps you do them now all at once. Perhaps we do a couple items now. Perhaps you do all of it a year or two down the road. The choice is yours. So long as you pick either the high-end bids for the up and down unit or the low-end bids for the up and down unit, the property will meet all of our rental standards and we will be able to deliver that rent to you. All right, so that's the entire house. As you can see from all of the things I said in the original video tour of this property and here today going over the updated renovation bids for you, I love this investment. This is going to be a great cash flow investment. A lot of people think real estate is not a great investment because it's not very liquid. That is not true. This guy just purchased this property 
And you know what? We are going to have intense demand. When I sold it to him, I had probably 10 buyers in line to purchase the property. So these investments, don't think that once you buy these and you get a 30-year loan, you're stuck owning these properties for 30 years. On the turn of a dime, we can sell these properties again because there is hundreds and thousands of real estate investors out there who are looking at the Cleveland market for cash flow opportunities like this one. So if you're one of those real estate investors and you want to purchase this property, please send me an email, jameswise at holtonwise.com or click the link below. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.